What's up guys, Sal here. So Samsung practically invented the curved edge screen design. The Galaxy Note Edge was the first handset to have a curved display on one side. They made it dual curved with the Galaxy S6 Edge. The point of making the display curved at the sides is to minimize the side bezels to the point that they are non-existent and to make the phone look like it has more usable screen real estate than it really has. Also to make the phone stand out from the crowd. Nowadays companies like Huawei, Vivo and Oppo have taken this curved design to a more aggressive version by bending it at the sides to almost 90 degrees. It's popularly known as a waterfall display which to be honest looks really cool. A lot of us were wondering whether or not Samsung would also jump on this waterfall design bandwagon and have this design on the Galaxy S11. It looks like they're not. Ice Universe tweeted out saying, after careful evaluation by Samsung, the Galaxy S11 will not use the waterfall design. Honestly, I don't think this is a big deal. People already love Samsung's curved displays. In my opinion, the display curve on the Galaxy Note 10 is absolutely perfect. Ever since I got the phone, I got barely like 3 or 4 accidental touches. Waterfall displays look beautiful, arguably even better than Samsung's. But they do have some disadvantages such as you lose some of the content if you're watching a video for example. Also the color distortion along the curved edges of the screen is more. Personally, I don't hate the waterfall displays. I'm a sucker for aesthetics and I think it looks really beautiful. But I get it why some of you don't like it and why Samsung is not going with this kind of display for the Galaxy S11. Anyway, Ice Universe also says the bezels are gonna be even smaller than on the Galaxy Note 10. The Note 10 Plus has arguably the smallest top and bottom bezels and it's incredible that Samsung has managed to make it even smaller. Ice Universe also says 90Hz display is the least refresh rate the Galaxy S11 is gonna have. It's yet to be seen whether or not they're going for a 120Hz display. Time will tell but the good news is the Galaxy S11 for sure will have a higher screen refresh rate. If you're a fan of Force, then here's good news for you. Samsung has launched the Star Wars edition of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. It's a collaboration of two galaxies. One is of course the Samsung's Galaxy and another one is a galaxy far far away. Nothing has changed internally. The only change will be cosmetic. Black and red color with Star Wars logo at the back. You'll also get a redesigned Galaxy Buds and a Star Wars metal badge. It will be available in most countries and price is same as normal Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Also we have camera specs of the Galaxy S10 Lite. If you don't know already, the S10 Lite is gonna be the fifth Galaxy S10 model with flagship specs which will be launched in the coming months alongside the Note 10 Lite. Anyway, the camera specs come courtesy of Ishan Agarwal who is a very reputed tipster. So the phone will have a triple camera setup at the back, 48 megapixel main camera, 5 megapixel depth sensor and 12 megapixel wide angle. The selfie camera is gonna be 32 megapixel. I think Samsung should take out the light naming part from this phone because with the kind of specs it's gonna come with, it's no light by any means. That said, do consider subscribing for all the Galaxy S11 coverage. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.